Hello, I'm Jake Martin from Cobalt Boats. I want to talk to you today about how to build the ideal wake surfing wave. Wake surfing has actually been around for several years now, but has only recently become a mainstream activity. There are several stern drive brands that have models out there outfitted with a ballast and some form of surf mechanism. But Cobalt is the only brand that has the combined Malibu Surfgate technology with the explicitly designed hull to generate a best in the class wave that will even compete with some competition tow boats. By using the combination of surf gates, drive, trim, and ballast, you can dial in the surf wave behind your Cobalt to your liking. Every boat you surf behind sets up a little bit differently, but the principles are still the same. The general rule for surfing in a Cobalt is to fill the ballast tanks in accordance to your boat loading, such as if you have two people in the boat, you can fill the ballast all the way up, but if you have 10 people in the boat, perhaps you only need the ballast tanks a quarter full. Beginning riders may benefit from less ballast for a shorter wave that still has a generous push. Your Cobalt surf boat can have as much as 2,300 pounds of ballast. But remember, additional weight in the boat doesn't always translate to a good surf wave, and adding additional ballast may negatively impact your wave. Unlike tow boats and some other brands, Cobalt has the benefit of the Volvo forward drive that not only provides directional thrust for great maneuverability, but when trim angle is adjusted, it can help shape the wave. The adjustment of the power trim angle is one of the single biggest factors to quickly adjust the wave to your liking. When I set up my R6 for surfing, I fill the tanks completely, then adjust the drive trim to three degrees. Driving with the Cobalt custom wave technology couldn't be easier. Just turn on speed control. This is the on and off for your surf system. Select a rider profile on your custom Garmin surf screen interface. This will automatically configure the boat to the pre-saved profile setting, ballast, drive trim, speed, surf right or left. Cobalt is set up with two starter profiles, a mellow and a steep. These will give you a starting point for setting up your wave. Then when the surfer is ready, put the throttle down and the boat will automatically adjust to the profile surf settings and speed. With the touch of the surf button on the Garmin screen, the driver can switch the wave from right to left, even underway. Once you get the boat weighted, take some time to get the boat set up to surf speed. See what the wave looks like. If you don't like it, adjust the drive trim, ballast, speed, and or move people around in the boat until it looks good. Taking some extra time to set up and look at the wave will save you in the long run. Experiment with different settings to see what works for you. Once dialed in, you can save these new settings to the active surf profile or create a new surf profile by pressing and holding the surf profile and following the prompts. With this system, you'll have the benefit of saving up to 20 rider profiles, ranging not only from surfing, but you can set them up for wakeboarding and even tubing for the little ones. You can also rename, edit, or delete profiles by pressing the profile menu on your surf screen and selecting manage. Using the custom Cobalt Wave technology controls, you can tailor the wave to meet each surfer's needs. But the line the boat is driving can also change the wave shape. For example, I'm surfing on the starboard side and I want the wave to be a little bit more open. I'll turn the boat to the right. Be aware of your surroundings to understand how these factors can affect your surf wave. For example, water depth can affect your wave in various ways. The ideal water depth would be more than 15 feet to prevent wave diffraction on the bottom. Other factors such as wind, current, salt, or fresh water can alter your wave so adjustments based on current conditions may be necessary. Remember that there are a few factors in dialing in your surf wave, and taking the time to test the wave before surfing will help ensure you have the best result. Need to quickly run back to the dock or a new location? If equipped with trim tabs, you can select performance mode to improve bow rise and planing time when loaded with ballast. This feature will automatically drop the trim tabs in takeoff and retract at a specified speed. Remember, that a weighted boat will have different performance characteristics and caution should be used when doing these various maneuvers. When you're done for the day, simply select hoist trailer. This will automatically retract the surf gates and trim tabs if equipped, as well as empty the ballast tanks. Hopefully these tips will help you out, set up a wave exactly how you like it, and keep the settings safe for next time. Thanks for spending time with me today. Remember, safety is always number one. Stay safe, have fun, and happy boating from all of us at Cobalt.